Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss a uh, video on basically derivatives of inverse trigonometry and look at some examples. Basically, in my earlier video, I went over some uh, proofs of derivatives of inverse trig, the most common ones, but I didn't really go over any uh, examples to illustrate them uh, a bit more. So I'm going to go over those right now. So example one states, well, this one just find derivative of y equals 1 divided by inverse sine of x. And example two is... Uh, derivative, find derivative of f of x if x if if f of x equals to x times arctan square root of x. Arctan is the same thing as inverse tan of x. So let's go over example one first. Yeah. So if we have this uh, this function right here, uh, in my earlier video I showed what derivative of sine inverse sine of x is. So in this case, what we could write this as first is bring this up. This could be uh, written as sine negative one the inverse sine of x all to the power of negative 1. So this power of negative 1 is different from this one here. This just means it's an inverse function. Just make sure to watch uh, on my early videos on inverse functions and inverse trig to get a better idea if you haven't already. So now we, we write it like this. We could use the power rule, bring this down, take a derivative. So dy over dx equals to y prime equals to so we bring this uh, 1 down using power rule. And then we write down sine x, uh, inverse sine of x, to power of, then we subtract by 1, so negative 2. And now we just multiply by derivative of the inside function. And this one derivative of inverse sine of x is just 1 divided by square root 1 minus x squared right here. So we could simplify this a bit further. This will be negative 1. Bring this down. This will just write it a bit better. Negative 1 of x all to the power of 2 right here. So this is squared. So remember this negative 1, we, it, this just means inverse. So this is not, we're not raising it to the power of negative 1. And then do, times this by, well, just, I'll put a line cube further, times by square root 1 minus x squared. Yeah, and basically this is our answer for uh, example 1 right here. I'll just circle that. So now let's look at example 2 right here. I'll write it down here. Yeah, so this uh, example 2, fx equals x times arctan of square root of x. So remember, arctan is the same thing as inverse uh, inverse tan of x. This, this just means basically tan inverse. So this exact same thing sometimes is written like this, uh, and it's better uh, if you use Google Graphing Calculator, you can just type this in Google Arctan, and we'll graph that for you instead of writing it like this. So um, basically, let's just find derivative of this one. We're going to have to use product rule. If you see my earlier videos on product rule, and then also chain rule as well in combination with this. So first thing to do is take derivative of the x, and that's just going to be, well, if we look at derivative f prime of x will equal derivative of x is 1 times it by, then we just write down arctan of x. We just write this down. This is, we're using product rule. Add it to, uh, now we write this x down and find a derivative of arctan of square root of x. Well, we know the derivative of arctan of x from my earlier video, and that's just going to be uh, 1 over 1 plus, and then it's going to be whatever's inside to the power of 2. Uh, squared right here. So this is a derivative of arctan of square root of x, but now we have to apply the chain rule. So find derivative of square root of x right here. I'll just uh, write this one down. If we just make a little side note here, if we have, let's say, y equals square root of x, this just equals to 1 over, I, I mean, equals to x to the power of 1 over 2. So the derivative using power rule, we bring down this 1 over 2. Then we'll have x subtra subtract this by 1, or 2 over 2, we'll have 1 over 2. This just equals to 1, uh, yeah, square root of x right here. And bring this down here, this is negative 1 over 2. So this would be the derivative of that, so we just right plug that in. Let's uh, circle this back in there. This is a side note. So this will be 1 over 2 square root of x. So that's the derivative of this inside of the function, or the square root of x. So we have this one here, so we could just simplify. This is our answer if you're in an exam. You could just leave it like this, unless they ask to simplify. So derivative would equal 2 arc tan of uh, square root of x, plus now this is, uh, this would be x. Let's just go x over 2 times 1 plus, this is, this is going to be uh, square root of x to square, this is going to be x as it's the power of 1 over 2, and then the power of 2, they just multiply it out, so it's just 1. So we have this 1, and then times by square root of x. And now remember, this x squared, no, this x, it could be written as x 2 over 2, and this is an x 1 over 2, so then we could subtract this from this, 
and we'll, we'll have a square root of x on top or the final answer will be arc tan of square root of x plus this is going to be now square root of x. This is simplified but further like my calculus book has done, 1 plus x. Yeah, and basically, yeah, so this would be our final answer, just simplified. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned uh, about uh, basically the examples using inverse trigonometry, the derivatives of it. And uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Remember, you can also download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.